This is an example problem showing how to calculate the location, orientation, and magnification of an image in a two-lens system. So in this particular problem, we have an object 15 centimeters left of a converging lens with focal length 10 centimeters. A diverging lens with focal length minus 20 centimeters is placed 20 centimeters right of the first lens. Find whether the image is real or virtual and determine its location and magnification relative to the original object. So the first thing we should do is sketch out the situation that's described in the problem statement. First, we have an object that's located 15 centimeters away from a converging lens that has a focal length of 10 centimeters. Twenty centimeters to the right of that, we have a second lens. This one is a diverging lens, so it has a negative focal length, and we're told that the focal length of this lens, which we'll call lens 2, is equal to negative 20 centimeters. After you've sketched out the situation, here is the set or the steps that you should follow when trying to find the image for a double lens system. Okay, and we'll keep track of these over here on the right. So the first thing you should do is ignore the second lens. Just forget that it's even there. Okay, and treat it as a single lens problem using the first lens. Find the image due to that first lens. So how do we find the image due to the first lens? Well, we will use the lens equation, okay, which is 1 over the focal length equals 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance. So we'll write that down. 1 over the focal length of the first lens equals 1 over the object distance of the first lens plus 1 over the image distance for the first lens. Okay. So the focal length of the first lens is given as 10 centimeters. So we have 1 over 10 centimeters. The object distance to the first lens is 15 centimeters. And the image distance to the first lens is what we're looking for. Ti due to lens 1. So we'll subtract 1 over 15 from both sides. 1 over 10 centimeters minus 1 over 15 centimeters equals 1 over di1. We need to find a common denominator for 10 and 15. Uh, 30 will work. So uh, 1 tenth is the same thing as 3 thirtieths. And 1 fifteenth is the same thing as 2 thirtieths. So that's still equal to 1 over di1. 1. 3 thirtieths minus 2 thirtieths is 1 thirtieth. So we have that the image distance from the first lens is 30 centimeters. Because that is a positive number, means that that is a real image. We also will go ahead and find the magnification due to the first lens. We'll call that M1. M1 is minus DI1 over D 
oh, one minus di one is thirty. DO one was fifteen. So we have M one is equal to negative two. So step one, ignore the second lens, find the image due to the first lens, it gives us a real image thirty centimeters to the right of the first lens. It has a magnification of negative two. The negative number means that it is inverted or upside down relative to the original object and two times bigger. So we'll draw that in. We've got an image that's about twice as big as the original object and it's 30 centimeters to the right of the first object or the original object. So we'll clear the work from step one to make way for step two. Step two is, okay, now we use the image location from the first lens as the object for the second lens. So we'll now solve for the image due to the second lens uh, ignoring the first lens. Now here it gets just a little bit tricky because we have to be careful about the signs. Okay, so first, uh, if we're going to find the image due to the second lens, then we'll use the lens equation again. 1 over F2 equals 1 over the O2 plus 1 over di2. So we have to find do2. We need to find the distance of the image from the first lens to the second lens. Now, if you look in the diagram, there's 20 centimeters from the first lens to the second lens, and the image from the first lens is 30 centimeters away from the first lens. Okay, so that means that the distance from the second lens to the uh, second lens's object is going to be 10 centimeters. And here's where it gets this a little tricky, uh, because since that is on the right side of the second lens, but the original object was on the left, then we need to make this distance negative. If you're working a problem and the image due to the first lens is over here somewhere in this region or in this region to the left of the second lens, then you would have a positive uh, object distance for the second lens. But in this case, it's on the other side of the diverging lens from the original object, so we need to make it negative. Now we can go ahead and apply the lens equation to the second lens. So we have 1 over F2, which is 1 over minus 20 centimeters, equals 1 over DO2, which is 1 over negative 10 centimeters, plus 1 over DI2 which is what we're looking for. Okay, now what we need to add 1 over 10 centimeters to both sides. So we now have minus 1 over 20 plus 1 over 10 equals 1 over di2. Again, I need to find a common denominator, this time between 20 and 10. 20 will work. So we have 1, 20 plus 2 over 20, uh, which is equal to 1 over 20. And that is equal 
to 1 over di2. So we have di2 equal to 20 centimeters. Because it's positive, we have a final image that is real. Okay. And now I'm going to clear the left side of the whiteboard so that we have time or have room to work out the magnification due to the second lens. So the magnification due to the second lens is minus di2 over do2. di2 is 20 centimeters. And DO2 was a positive, or no, excuse me, a negative 10 centimeters. These two negatives cancel. And we get that the magnification due to the second lens is equal to a positive 2. All right, so we're almost finished. Uh, in order to find the final magnification, we multiply the magnification due to the first lens with the magnification due to the second. Okay, so the total magnification is equal to M1 times M2. The total magnification is therefore negative 2 times 2, which is a negative 4. The fact that we got a negative answer for the total magnification means that the final image is inverted or upside down compared to the original. It's also four times bigger than the original. So let's sketch this out on our drawing. We got that the image distance for lens 2 was 20 centimeters, and it was a positive 20 centimeters, so that means it's to the right of lens 2. Uh, so it's going to be uh, approximately right here. It's still upside down and four times bigger so than the original, or two times bigger than the uh, image from the first lens. Uh, so this distance right here is 20 centimeters. Now at this point you have to be careful to see exactly what was the original question asking. Okay, it says find the location of the final image relative to the original object. Okay, so that means that 20 centimeters is not our final answer. What is being asked for is the distance from the original object to the final image. That would be this distance here. Okay, so that distance is 15 centimeters plus 20 centimeters plus another 20 centimeters or 55 centimeters. All right, so we'll need to clear a spot to make uh, room for our final answer. And our final answer is the location is 55 centimeters right of the original image or of the original object. It is real. It is inverted or upside down. And it is four times bigger than the original object.